Are you tired of missing shots? Are you tired of getting bodied? Listen, I got the resolution. No more struggling. No more getting back in. No more getting pulled up on by bots. After today's video, you will, and I repeat, you will be winning the majority of your gunfights. All right? So starting now, don't worry about it. Because I got you. Lock in. A little secret, all right? Um, you guys, the main question you guys been asking is, Dones, why do you hit fire almost every single fight? Why do you not aim in? Why don't you aim in, Domes? That's the main question you guys always ask me. Um, this gears is not the same compared to other gears games. I've noticed this. Um the shotgun on this game is actually a lot better when you're not aiming in all right now what i mean by that look at my shot spread so the shotgun spread is a lot tighter when you hit fire compared to when you pop shower aim in so let me show you guys real quick boom you see that right let me do this again i'm not gonna move all right now watch this you see how much tighter that spread is that's the reason why you usually want to hit fire or blind fire most of your gunfights because if you do hit your full spread or like use the center of your screen um your shotgun shots will come out a little bit more accurate and it's a good thing so i'm gonna try this entire game to explain every single reason why i'm hit firing never really hit firing but blind firing all my shots you guys you guys would tell exactly why That was a pop shot. Oh, I try to make. Yeah, I try to juke them. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Another thing is, by the way, um, Gears of War second tip, it's all center screen. All right. Now, what I mean by that, most of your shots are coming out in the middle of your screen. So if you guys really want to like master center screening, I used to do this back in the day, all right? I know it sounds kind of corny, but I swear to you guys, it's not cheating. It's something I used to do back in the Call of Duty days when I used to play COD. I used to put a spitball in the middle of my screen so I could get better at my center screen, um, my center screening at an actual game. So, like, I would already know where the middle of the screen is. So, by the time I took off the spitball, I already had the center screen technique mastered. So, I already knew how to center screen my game just off of Call of Duty. Because you guys didn't know, I came from COD at first. See, right there, I center screen perfectly, and I hit fired because I knew if I aimed in right there, my shotguns bro would not be as close. Again, guys, look look at my look how much of a spread difference that is. Right there, I shouldn't have aimed in. I was gonna go for a back eight pop shot, and um, it wasn't worth it because he played already too a little bit too wide. I'm only flashing before I get there because everyone is charging bow. I didn't want to turn around and just torque bow tag me. I was waiting for the guy to be in the middle of my screen. I guess not. Oh my god, double blind fire. You hit those. But yeah, standard screening is a big part of gear. So I can give you guys any techniques is master center screening on this game master the middle master knowing where the middle of your screen is at and also master the hit fires because honestly guys that's the reason why you guys want to chase usually if you guys ever chase someone back in gears 4 by the way people would have to chase but they would have to up a and do this like pop shot in this game it's actually more common for you to up a and blind fire because of how tight your shotgun spread is like you really do not need to aim in your your reaction shots at all like you, you don't have to Back in Gal 4, like it was more common people to do a reaction shot or go for up A's and pop shot right after in the mid immediately. Ah, uh, wrist roll. Damn. That is annoying. 
Um, oh, I, for I forgot to tell you guys, I've been getting a little bit of pain playing paddles. So I, I might, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I might not commit to it. I'm not too sure. I wanted to commit to paddles, but I didn't think it was going to cause more pain on my left hand. Which is not something I really want at all. I'd rather just, at that point, just stick to claw. If that's the case, and just use my left paddle whenever. I like how that guy went for me. <laughs> Alright, let me lock in this game. Let me actually focus up a little bit. Putting out a flash, as always. I don't think you need to run in this game with a... One shot, he's dead. All right, let's see what we do here. We gotta take this guy out. He is one shot. Dude, wow. I kept him hurt. Honestly, the guy was one shot the entire time, and I still couldn't finish. I cracked it with a. Oh, this guy got a triple. He's nasty. He doesn't have a gun. <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> what am I playing? What am I playing, bro? What is this video game? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> like dude there's no way i'm playing gears oh i got pinched <laughs> wow what a scenario man i really get pinched like that guys by the way this is all in one take so if i lose this game i'm not re-recording this for you guys i'm gonna be honest if i lose i'm still gonna upload it I hate doing multiple takes for YouTube. I'm done doing that. Last time I did that, someone got mad at me for uploading a loss. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Last time I uploaded a loss. Dudes, why are you uploading losses? Why aren't you moving out of spawn? I, I wasn't moving at the beginning, so I can explain to you guys exactly why, uh, exactly why I play the way I do. Damn, I was pinched. Right there, I was trying to isolate a 1v1, but I couldn't find one. Like, that entire time, I was trying to see if I could somewhat, like, overcommit to a cover so I can get an easy up A, but nobody was getting on the up A cover like I wanted them to. Damn. That's me sucking. I could have won that. Didn't try to talk about me. Nah, he would have fucking break. That was a good defense. Yo, these guys are perfect players. Hello? <laughs> these guys are perfect players. This guy just got a triple kill with instances. I probably have never seen something like that in my life. There's actually no way. There's actually, like, no possible way that just happened. Man, really got a nasty triple like that with instance. Please down him. Ah. That was a good play. I should have probably focused the other guy that was straight on me. Should have probably walked at him too. Alright, this one guy going mid map. 
So I'm gonna hold my flash. I should be able to get a flash here on this guy in the steps real quick. Maybe not. I thought he was gonna cut across. Dodge him that real quick. We should, all right, so this should be AC dub. We're gonna get the torque bow real quick. And then, we gotta kill him. He's our main target. Yep, there he goes. See anybody goes across, nobody's flying across, surprisingly. Behind them, wow. Wow. What a game. Hopefully you guys enjoy that game, guys. Um, Like I said, you guys do want to mostly hit fire when you are playing gears. You can still pop shot, like I said, but there's certain scenarios where you really do not need to be aiming in. When you do aim in, your shots are a little bit more accurate. Cause you know what I mean? You don't want to be on a cover, right? And then blind fire across the map with a shotgun. That's not that's not really uh, helping your case. But if you're on cover and you pop shot a couple of times, that's not a bad idea because that's how you're supposed to play. Your, your, your shots are more precise. But from up close engagements, when you're going for reaction shots with an Asher and the guy's right in front of the cover or uh, whatever it is, a strafe battle and you're both right medium range and you're both strafing or even close range from up close, don't even bother pop shot and just hit fire and just use your center screening. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tip, quick tips and, uh, tips and tricks video. <laughs> I'm sorry for stuttering right there. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks video. Um, I should be dropping more soon. I try to rush this all in one take and I didn't want to really edit this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it until next time. You big boy domes and I'm out guys. Peace.